What's up, YouTube? This is Rose Gold back again with another video, and I check it out. Finesse two times. Finesse two times. He just dropped a, uh, I don't know if it's a single or an album, but I'll just say this. He just dropped some music, right? So, Moneybag Yo dropped the day before Finesse two times did. So, Moneybag Yo drops one day, next day Finesse two times drops. Now, if you've been watching my channel, I made a couple videos about what? Finesse two times. Who? Finesse two times. You know what I'm saying? And people are saying that Moneybag Yo stole this man whole style. Stole the man whole style. Moneybag Yo stole Finesse two times whole style of rap. So did he also allegedly steal the man persona? You know, what's up? That's crazy. So now I'm so now it's making more sense of since it's making more sense since Finesse Two Times has came home. You know, we all know he was doing so bad locked up, he said this. Allegedly, he had to sell K2 just to survive, you know. Man, you know, so he it was bad. It was bad, you know. Especially living in those conditions, being locked down and whatnot. You feel me? You got to do whatever you can to do to survive. So I'm getting at this. Nobody was helping him on the money tip. Nobody was showing him love on the money tip, right? J. Prince Jr., like he said, J. Prince Jr. came and saved him, so to speak. You feel me? The only one that lended out an old hand. So now he's rolling with the rapper like crew, as he should. I mean, wasn't nobody messing with him. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like Glorilla Pimp. Wasn't nobody messing with her. So she went to CMG. That's it. She went to CMG, people. Right? So, this money bag yo thing. That's why I made a video. I said, should, should he be wary? No, no, no. He should probably be aware, though. He should probably be aware to the extent that uh, you got a little competition going on. I think it's some competition going on. Because let me tell you, if you look up your boy Finesse two times, the man got bars. The man got flow. He know what he doing on the music tip. All right? You get him in the studio, you can't lose. He's good. All right? Now, I'm a music fanatic. Now, I ain't just saying that. The boy is good. You see what I'm talking about? He is good. You feel me? And it seemed like most Memphis rappers, they got that, uh, like that Yo Gotti flow. I, you know, I don't want to compare Yo Gotti to Finesse two times or... Or Yo Gotti to Moneybag Yo. But it all seems like they got that. It reminds me all the time of that Moneybag Yo flow. Not all Memphis rappers, though. Because, you know, like Triple Six, they got, you know, different different type of flow. And I know one person in my comments, they was like, you mean 3-6 Mafia? <laughs> Where I'm from, we call them Triple Six Mafia, brother. We call them Triple Six Mafia. Now, that's just kind of short, you know, Triple Six. You know what I'm talking about? But it is 3-6 Mafia. But whatever, whatever. I ain't mess it. I do. I do. Now, and you know, you got MJG, 8-Ball, and them. They they didn't sound like, you know, a Yo Gotti or nothing like that. Like, nobody sounded like a Yo Gotti. You know, Dolph didn't sound like a Yo Gotti. You know what I'm saying? But certain people, when they come out, they sound like a Yo Gotti. Because it's a couple PRE members that got that, like, Gotti flow. Like, uh... Uh... Kenny Money, he, he, he's he got that Yo Gotti flow, you know what I mean, so, uh, and it's another one that got that, like, sort of like that Gotti flow, you feel me, so, at the same time, this money bag, yo thing, and finesse two times, you know what I'm saying, hey, finesse two times, say he the prince of, of Memphis, all right, that's what the word is, he is the prince of Memphis, so I don't think nobody's gonna be taking that title from him, no time soon. Do you hear me? Message get to this. No time soon. Mm. And he got back up. I mean, come on, man. He would rap a lot. And despite who, how whoever feel about rap a lot, let me tell you, let me tell you, rap a lot go far back. All right? 
to Jay Prince, the original Jay Prince himself, brung out a lot of, a lot of, and a lot of, and a lot of, and a lot of good artists. You feel me? That's where we got our uh, ghetto boys from and all this, squat face and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And that, that legacy can go on and on. I'll be on here for hours as far as how much rap a lot has helped artists. And I ain't talking about new artists. I'm talking about back in the day artists. You know what I'm saying? So, what y'all think about Finesse Two Times? dropping music but money bag yo drops music right before the day before that you know what i'm saying I, I think people are going to the internet trying to compare which one sounds better um that's you know that's up in the air right now because i myself have to go and really tune in to the music that was dropped but the but the music i did hear finesse two times drop i'm trying to tell you <laughs> yeah it's, 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 it's legit, you know? I like where he coming from as far as the mindset, you know, in his music. And I'm going to be tuned in to Finesse two times. Because, you know, I like new rappers, but I, I, I love, but I like new rappers, but I love new rappers that really got it. You know what I'm saying? Because in this industry, it's either you got it or you don't. You know what I'm saying? It's either you got it or you don't. So if you don't, you, that's your 15 minute of fame type stuff. If you got it, you got a pro, you, you know what I'm saying? You got a longevity. You know what I'm saying? So it's either you got it or you don't. Ain't nobody got time for this shit. Like a maybe he'll be productive. And, nah, 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 nah. It's either you got it or you don't. And let me tell you, Finesse Two Times got it, people. Message.